So Black Friday is just right around the corner, as well as Cyber Monday, and of course all the gift-giving holidays. I know a company that does do deals an awful lot is actually Briogeo. Now, in general, Briogeo's products are pretty pricey. The products I'm going to be trying today on average are $24 a piece. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to see if these products are worth picking up while they are on a good deal before Black Friday comes up. So I'm going to give these two products a try. Let's see, she'll stay up here for me. Uh, the products that I'm going to try today are the Briogeo Curl Charisma Defining Cream as well as the First Control Gel. I'm going to pair these two products together, see whether or not I would recommend that you pick them up. If you do like content like this, please do like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And if you are new to my channel, <laughs> the cat is very distracting. Um, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Lena. And welcome to my bathroom. Hopefully my cat will stick around here for a little bit. We'll see what happens. She might be a little bit distracting, uh, but this way the puppy has free reign and the cat feels safe. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm starting off with the Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Avocado Leave-In Defining Cream. Now this is free of sulfates, silicones, and parabens, which is awesome. And we're going to give this a try. So I've sectioned my hair to three like I normally do. And I'm going to go in with just the smallest amount of this curl cream starting off. This doesn't really have much of a scent to it. I can't say I'm a fan of the slight scent that is there, but I have a feeling, especially because it's not very strong, it's not going to linger. It smells like rice, to be honest. Um, it, it's just kind of more of a savory, kind of almost stale. Not my favorite scent-wise, but it's not super strong, so hopefully it will go away pretty quickly. That worked pretty well into my hair. I'm going to go in with a little more on the other side. Not tacky. The, the consistency is just very general cream-like. It is on the lighter side for cream. On the thinner side, it's not like a super thick consistency. There she goes. <laughs> uh, so it works really easily through the hair. Um, now I'm left with kind of this dilemma of do I go in with a gel and rig it through or do I scrunch it in? I think I'm going to scrunch it in because I do feel like I've heard that this is a bit of a thicker gel and I don't necessarily want too much of it. I'm going to go in with my So Soon Warp Bristle Brush to start defining this bottom section. Let's kind of see how this curl cream works to clump things together. My hair is pretty darn wet at this point, so hopefully that will help. So far, so good. She's just over here and it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing with that door open, so I'm gonna close it. Something I learned while looking into this a little bit, Briogeo was a black started company, it was started by a black woman and has recently, as in like the last year, been bought up by Wella. So it is no longer a black owned company, but it is a black founded company. Ooh, that, that is very nice and smooth and silky and it works through my hair very well. Uh, so what are they saying about this? Curl Charisma Rice Amino Avocado Leave-In Defining Creme. I'm always confused as whether it's cream or creme. It has that asterisk, so I think it's supposed to be creme, but anyway. It's infused with rice amino acids, avocado oil, quinoa, and tomato fruit ferment extract to enhance moisture and define for soft, bouncy, and vibrant curls. Hi. <laughs> she says, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, God, I love the pets. I gotta show them off when I can. She doesn't chill in here with me like this very often. She doesn't tend to like being stuck in here, so it's kind of nice to have the company. I think she's feeling a little left out since we got a puppy, uh, because the two of them don't quite get along yet, and so I think she's craving some companionship. All right, I'm gonna look at the ingredients of this really quickly. Water, aloe, glycerin is the third, but right after that is polyquaternium 37. We also have a lot of oil, so avocado oil, soybean oil, and then the rice extract. So the, the rice extract, hydrolyzed quinoa, and keratin amino acids are pretty high up on the list. Oh, something I didn't know before is that this is vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free, which is nice, but there is a lot of protein in this as well as polyquats. So I bet you this would give you just the slightest bit of hold if you did want to use this as a one and done product and you didn't want to pair it with something like a gel. And I do feel like a lot of those oils as well as the polyquats are gonna help cancel out the glycerin. So unless you have hair that's just really, really prone to glycerin, I don't think this should be a problem. All right, so I'm gonna go in and define this section uh, and probably the top and then I'll be back to talk about the gel when I apply that. I have changed my mind ever so slightly. I'm actually gonna go in with my gel at this stage and do it kind of in two stages because I do have 
a pretty high density of hair. And I'm afraid that if I just put this over the top when I've already styled all my hair, it won't get into that midsection. I'm gonna, a lot of frizz. So I'm gonna go in with the Briogeo Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Quinoa Frizz Controlled Gel. Again, it has no harsh sulfates, no silicones, and no paraben. There is the consistency. It is a little on the thicker side. It's not too bad though. Um, it's not super duper thick, but definitely a little thicker. So I'm just gonna glaze this. Oh, now that I, huh, I probably could have raked this through my hair, but I know a lot of people don't like to, so I'm gonna see what happens when I scrunch this in. Uh, the smell of this one is about the same as the other one. It's a little bit stronger, so it's kind of just a stale scent to it. Uh, I have a feeling, again, that this is gonna go away pretty quickly and it won't be too big of a deal once I've um, completely styled my hair. But during styling, not entirely my favorite thing in the world. I'll style the top and then I'll be back and then I'll talk about this product when I get back and after I've been completely styled. Right, normally I would put my products back here uh, as I finish them, but she's obviously in the way, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more of this gel yet again, just glazing over the top. I'm not gonna focus too much on the bottom. All right, so let's talk about this product just a little bit here. On the back, they are saying Curl Charisma Rice Amino and Quinoa Frizz Control Gel is infused with rice amino acids, quinoa extract, and tomato fruit ferment extract to boost definition for vibrant, under control curls with a lightweight and flexible hold. Talking about some of the ingredients on here, starting off with water, and then we have the VPVA copolymer. So that copolymer is what's going to give you the hold. And then we have carrageenan and then glycerin. So glycerin is still pretty high up, but the VPVA copolymer is in front of it, so that should be helpful in reducing some of that effect on humidity. Rice extract, lactobacillus tomato fer ferment extract, rice amino acids, hydrolyzed quinoa, keratin amino acids, shea butter, avocado oil, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so it does have, again, a lot of protein in this particular product. So it really just depends on what your hair likes and what it needs. I'm actually at the point where I felt like my hair was starting to lean into over moisturization. So I feel like these could be really good products if you feel like your hair is a little bit over moisturized to come back and kind of counterbalance that a little bit. So I'm actually going to microplot my hair really quickly and then um, I might glaze a little bit more of that gel over the top. I am gonna glaze just the tiniest bit just because I have a tendency to need that. Um, product kind of just glides off my hair whenever I microplop. So adding just a little bit more gel over the top at the very end of my routine just really helps ensure that I get some of that hold. So what I'm gonna do at this point is first probably kick my cat out because I have a very strong feeling she's not gonna like my hair dryer. And then I'm gonna diffuse my hair for probably about 20 to 30 minutes until it's about 90% dry, and then I will be back. It's not really a huge surprise when my cat did leave. That being said, my hair is probably now 90% dry. I do actually have a cast on it, which is a surprise for me. Not a huge surprise, because I know a lot of people get a cast with this, including like Swaby Curly Courtney, who also, like me, tends to not get a cast on her hair. So the cast is nice, and I'm excited about that. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next several hours, though. I'm gonna go in with my Curl Keeper Clips to clip it up. And then I will actually be back in a couple of hours when it is completely dry. I'm back. It's been a couple hours now. My hair is 100% dry. I'm going to pull it down and fluff it up and see our final results. If you can't tell, I was painting with my daughter earlier. <laughs> it's always messy when you paint with a toddler. <laughs> Here are my final results. I'm going to give you a quick curl tour so you can see what this looks like from all different angles.
All right, moving into my thoughts, let's start with the positive. The right side of my head does look pretty darn decent and I'm really happy with it. it. Has a lot of really good clumping and especially up in the wavy section, those clumped and got some definition and they look really, really nice. I struggle with the, the waves in my hair an awful lot. That looks pretty good. The bottom here, honestly, it looks okay. Um, a lot of the pieces did clump very nicely, but I do still feel like they're a little more stretched out than I'm used to, which is kind of strange because I figured with just how much protein these products have, I would be having the opposite problem because my hair does not feel overloaded with protein. In fact, it feels almost the exact opposite. It feels really soft. And I thought that I was on the edge of moisture overload and that these products would fix it. It doesn't seem like that was enough. And especially when you look at the left side of my head, kind of the bad here, this does not look good. <laughs> It's kind of scraggly, it's kind of frizzy, it's really stretched out, really flat up on top, and overall it doesn't look great. The bottom down here looks a little bit better than the top, but otherwise, meh. I always like to check in on day two for longevity to see how it holds up, because it still does tell you a lot about a product, especially when a gel doesn't exactly tell you what kind of hold it has. This particular gel really is only saying that it's lightweight and flexible hold. Uh, so is it a light hold? Is it a medium hold? Is it a hard hold? Uh, lightweight just means that it's not going to weigh your hair down and flexible just means that your hair is going to move. I would probably put it in the camp at this point of medium hold, but I would like to still come back tomorrow. So I will be back in the morning to show you my day two follow up. I'm back. It's the next day. I'm going to pull my hair down really quickly to see how it held up into day two. Full disclosure though, halfway through the night, I did wake up and my buff was off. That never happens to me. This is kind of a first. Uh, and because it's not something that happens, my brain just kind of went, toss it back on and shove all my hair back in. I literally just shoved it in. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's some extra frizz and weirdness going on, but we're going to see. So I'm going to pull this down, fluff it up, and I'll be back. All right, here we are, final results for day two. And I do want to touch on this, uh, starting off with kind of the glaringly obvious thing here, which is the frizz. I do not blame the products for the frizz. I think that the big reason I have so much frizz in my hair is because my buff came off in the middle of the night and I very unceremoniously shoved my hair back up in there. <laughs> it didn't do me any good, really. Talking about the rest of my hair. Overall, I did definitely lose volume. There's not a ton left. That could be shoving my hair back in there as well. My hair looks very nice and healthy and shiny. Talking about definition, left side has kind of lost any life that it had. Uh, some of that though is just because it wasn't really great yesterday. And then on the right side though, if we look at the right side, it's a little better representation, I think. I think if you look at it, uh, a lot of these clumps held together very nicely. It still looks really nice and pretty. It's just that it's a little softer. I can't say that I'm 100% happy with this routine and it's not because of the product. I want to kind of take this chance to talk a little bit about how you know if a wash day has gone bad because of the products or if it's gone bad because of something else. Now, in this case, one of the big indicators, there's a couple. One of them is just the feeling of my hair. My hair feels very soft. It feels too soft. It feels kind of mushy and gummy a little bit. And I thought that these would have enough protein that they would repair that. Uh, apparently not. So I need to do something a little more extreme. Um, another way that you can tell if it's the products or if it's your hair doing a weird thing, is to just try different products if you have them on hand. So if I went in and did a couple of different wash days with a couple of different products and none of them are really turning out how I would expect, it's probably something going on with my hair. And that's kind of the case here for me, is the past few wash days haven't been exactly what I've expected, including the cake one. Uh, the twist one still did turn out pretty good, but I think it was kind of on the edge of what I would expect for my hair. That's a pretty good indicator to me. This is, it's the products, it's something else. Not only that, but for me personally, this left side of my head is a really good red flag as to whether it's a product or it's my hair. If it's the product, they will still look pretty, pretty even. If it's my hair, <laughs> the left side is the one that kind of starts screaming at me first and going, help me, I'm dying. Uh, and that's kind of what the left side is doing. So I don't think that's the product. I think it's my hair doing weird things. So my plan going forward is I am going to do a pretty ultimate hair reset. What I mean by that is I'm gonna do the hair reset I did last time. And um, I'm actually gonna add another step to that, which is also cutting my hair because some of this could be a shape issue. Uh, some of it is gonna be a, too soft issue. Uh, there's a lot going on here. So I want to kind of just target all of it all at once. So if you would like to see that, let me know in the comments below. I know I do post a lot about hair resets as well as haircuts. If it's old hat to you at this point, I won't post it. I will just 
kind of do an update, uh, retry these products and see what I think after doing that. But if you would like to see it, I, I would be happy to film it for you and to post it on here. Uh, other than that, I may go back and retry the cake products as well. It would be kind of interesting to know if the hair jelly um, actually was the problem with my hair or if my hair was the problem with my hair. So, uh, I have a lot of stuff coming and definitely like and subscribe if you do like content like this. It does definitely help me out a ton. I do post a brand new video almost every single Friday. And then if you haven't had enough of me, yes, I am actually also on my twin sister's YouTube channel as well. Her and her husband have a tabletop RPG and I have joined their game. So if you'd like to see me over there, definitely check it out. We appreciate the views and the subscribers. So hopefully I will see you next time.